Welcome to Art Explained, the home of art, art history, stories, and art education for all who are interested. He was perhaps the most celebrated painter and decorative artist of the 18th century. Francois Boucher was born on September 29, 1703, in Paris, Kingdom of France. He was a well-respected painter, draftsman, and etcher who worked in the Rococo style. Boucher is known for his idyllic and voluptuous paintings on classical themes, decorative allegories, and pastoral scenes. He was a native of Paris and the son of a lesser-known painter, Nicolas Boucher, who gave him his first artistic training. At the age of 17, a painting by Boucher was admired by the painter Francois Lemoyne. Lemoyne later appointed Boucher as his apprentice, but after only three months, he went to work for the engraver Jean-Francois Carr. In 1720, he won the elite Grand Prix de Rome for painting, but did not take up the opportunity to study in Italy until five years later, due to financial problems at the Academy Royale de Peinture et de Sculpture. On his return from studying in Italy, he was admitted to the refounded Academy de Peinture et de Sculpture on November 24, 1731. Boucher married Marie-Jean Bouzot in 1733. The couple had three children together. Boucher became a faculty member in 1734, and his career accelerated from this point, as he was promoted to professor, then rector of the academy, becoming inspector at the Royal Gobelin Manufactory, and finally, the first painter of the king in 1765. Boucher died on May 30, 1770, in his native Paris. His name, along with that of his patron, Madame de Pompadour, had become synonymous with the French Rococo style. Leading the Goncourt brothers to write, Boucher is one of those men who represent the taste of a century, who express, personify, and embody it. Boucher took inspiration from artists such as Peter Paul Rubens and Antoine Watteau. Boucher's early works celebrate the idyllic and tranquil portrayal of nature and landscape with great elan. However, his art typically forgoes traditional rural innocence to portray scenes with a definitive style of eroticism as his mythological scenes are passionate and intimately amorous, rather than traditionally epic. Marquise de Pompadour, mistress of King Louis XV, whose name became synonymous with Rococo art, was a great admirer of his work. Marquise de Pompadour is often referred to as the godmother of Rococo, and Boucher's portraits were central to her self-presentation and cultivation of her image. Along with his painting, Boucher also designed theater costumes and sets, and the ardent intrigues of the comic operas of Charles Simon Favart closely paralleled his own style of painting. Boucher also concentrated on tapestry design, for the Beauvais Tapestry Workshops, he first designed a series of Italian festivals in 1736, which proved to be very successful. It was often rewoven over the years and then commissioned in 1737 a suite of the story of Cupid and Psyche. During two decades of involvement with the Beauvais Tapestry Workshops, Boucher produced designs for six series of hangings in all, like the tapestry showing 
Psyche and the Basket Maker from 1741 to 1742. Boucher was also a gifted engraver and etcher. Boucher etched some 180 original copper plates. He made many etchings after Watteau. He helped propagate a taste for reproductions of drawings. When his own drawings began to sell, 266 of them were etched in stipple substitutes. These were printed in red ink so they resembled red chalk drawings, which could be framed as little pictures. They could then be hung in the small blank spaces of the elaborately decorated paneling of luxury dwellings. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing with friends, and thank you for subscribing. It means the world to us. This is not the end of the video. We have more to share. Keep watching and enjoy yourself. See you in the following video.